Let's do some uh, top secret. Yeah. So we got two top secret videos. We're just gonna play them back to back, and uh, then we'll see you on the other side. Okay. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, I am putting together a Metro M7. This is the IMX RT 1011. This is a pretty cool 500 megahertz processor, but it's QFP, so it's easy to solder. And it has an ESP32 Wi-Fi airlift. It's Metro shaped. I think we got a Stemma QT connector over here, so you can plug in an OLED. And I've got it running Circuit Python right now. So what it's doing is it's going online to CoinDesk and getting the latest Bitcoin price. So just using our existing um, Wi-Fi code to do that. And then it's uh, displaying it on the OLED every 30 seconds or so. And it's working great. This is a really fast chip. I'm really liking the RT series. So I'm going to do a little bit more testing and then I'm going to get this manufactured real soon. Hey, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, I'm beta testing my new Metro ESP32 S2 featuring uh, the PS RAM capable ESP32 S2 module here. Got USB C and power and on off switch. Stomach UT connector, so you can connect all of your little sensors and OLEDs. Battery power, including battery charging, and it's Arduino Uno Shield compatible. So I've got here this like TFT shield. It's also a prototype, you can tell because it's red. And let me see if I can plug it in. One moment. Okay. And then when I reset it, it does an amazingly fast TFT uh, test sketch. So I think the SPI must be running at like 60 or 80 megahertz because this is crazy fast. But it uh, means that SPI works and I've tested I2C, so it's ready to ship. All right. Um, and do you have anything you want to show before I go well, off I mean, to... Well, uh... I mean, I could show, um, you know, they've got this... Uh... You've got the board. I've got this board. I'm gonna try even plugging it in. I don't know if it'll work. See what happens. It might. Um, but uh, yeah, this has got the um, NXP. Oh, you know, I think I deleted a file from it. Um, it's um, got a NXP IMX RT 1011. So this is running at 500 megahertz. It's got some QSPY flash. It's got a debug interface. Um, I actually used it to load the code initially. Um, ESP32. Uh, for Wi-Fi coprocessor, because this chip obviously doesn't do Wi-Fi, but it's really fast. And then you just let this do all the Wi-Fi stuff for you and buffer sockets. Um, Type-C USB, DC jack. Um, there's an on-off switch, so I can turn this off, and then I can turn it back on, which is very handy. And then, you know, I'm starting to put STEM QT connector. So here, um, I put it down in this corner. Um, on this board, I put it, you know, I couldn't really fit it down here because... Um, this is where I have the battery connector. This didn't make as much sense for me to have on battery because um, we don't have like low power code for this. Although, you know, if it becomes popular, I could redesign this to run off of a, a LiPo battery. Um, and then, um, yes, yeah, so this one has a stomach QT here and this one has a stomach QT over there. So this actually works really well. I mean, it, uh, you know, we did some quick speed tests and um, without doing a lot of memory optimizations with the tightly coupled RAM, it, it is still twice as fast as the SAMD51, and it really has a very fast feel to it. Like, it's like it's hard to explain, but, like, using CircuitPython, like, I kind of know how long it takes for stuff to happen, and I'm always, like, really impressed by this chip, how quickly it's going. So um, we'll get this um, fab soon. I have to sort of design how... These a new chip yeah. I have to design the tester. And this is what you want for IoT. You're going to be lots of string parsing, doing lots of JSON stuff. It's going to be... Good. Good stuff. We've been waiting for this. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the top secret of the week. Yep. All right.